Hey guys, I'm so excited to make this video. Thought I would take you along and show you what I got in the mail. Okay, so yes, I bought my first Bee Pal and I'm very excited. Oh my gosh. All right, so let's tear this guy open real quick. Yeah, we're gonna do like a first impression review kind of thing. There we go. <laughs> postal box in a postal box. <laughs> oh, it's got the little Black Phoenix Alchemy Laboratory. That's so cool. Alchemy is such a cool concept. Basically just like mixing together herbs and different fruits and vegetables and different plants to make a cool substance. I love that. <laughs> okay, let's see what we got. Oh, okay. I thought it'd come in, in its own little box, but that's totally cool. Okay, ooh. Came with this. Let's see what's in here. Oh, it's little samples. Really tiny little samples. Okay, that's so cute, look at it. RPG series, Mage. <laughs> that is so cool. That's so weird, because I'm playing a mage right now in World of Warcraft. Oh, cool, we got Mad Hatter. Their cute little logo. And, oh wow. They gave me five samples in total. I'm so glad because they're expensive. But probably super worth it. Okay, and we also have Bastet and Black Pearl and Lioness. Lioness. Oh, I'm so excited. I am really appreciative that they sent us this little sample bag. Okay, so what I got, I got two, hold on, sorry, this is loud. I got two um, full-size perfumes, and then I got a hair gloss as well. <gasps> and it came with the card. That is so pretty. Oh, it's all shiny and glossy. Provider of exquisite potions, perfumes, and sundries since 1350. Thir 1350? Is that real? What? Look, I ain't fucking around. It says 1350. Since 1350. <laughs> they really secured this shit. I'm glad. Don't want my hair gloss getting everywhere. Okay, cool. So I got the red incense hair gloss. It's a really pretty picture. And I got the Antikythera mechanism. Let's see if we can zoom in on that. Isn't that a cool picture? I love like golden gears and like ancient looking clockwork shit. It is so cool. Okay, and then I got the labyrinth one. Yes. Jareth. Okay. <laughs> I'm so excited. Can you tell I'm excited? Like, I don't know why. It's just perfume, but oh my gosh, it makes me so happy. All right, the first one I'm going to smell is the labyrinth one called Jareth. Oh, that is so good. <sighs> yeah. It's really clean smelling, but not like soapy. Oh man, it has like beautiful floral floral notes, but it's not roses, you know? Ooh, that is so nice. Wow. Let me see what the actual um, thing 
says about it. What the actual notes are, you know? Yes, exactly. Ethereal lilac forgeré and gleaming leather with tea leaf, tonka absolute, white musk, and oath. Od? Od. Od. <laughs> yes, I can tell it's lilac. It's super floral, but not a rose. And I mostly bought this because it says it has tonka in it, and I love the smell of tonka so much. It's a bit musky, yes, white musk. Ah, oh, that is so beautiful. I love it. It's kind of sexy smelling. It's kind of like a cologne, but it's like a flowery cologne. It's so beautiful. Okay, now we're gonna try the Antikythera mechanism. This one says teakwood, oak, black vanilla, and tobacco. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. <laughs> oh my god, this one smells like you just walked into an antique store that has so many different types of like old wooden uh, antiques from all around the world. It smells like, it's like a timeless scent. It smells like you have a great grandmother and you found her old perfume bottle and you have like this ancient trinket, you know, and you open it and you smell it and it smells like the past. Oh my gosh, that is so beautiful. Wow. <laughs> I think the way I described it made it sound not as good, but it is amazing. It just puts a smile on my face. Teakwood and oak, yes, it has a beautiful, like, woody smell, but it's really softened by the vanilla. Oh my gosh, wow. It's very old timey, but not like your grandma's old perfume, you know? Even though that's just how I described it, but <laughs> it smells like just so good. Like what, 18, what the 1800s would smell like. Oh. Okay, and now we're gonna try out the hair gloss. So this one says it's red sandalwood, myrrh, cinnamon husk, copal, copal bound with blood, ooh, currants, and red wine. That description really made me buy it because all of those deep red beautiful ingredients combined into one, I can tell it's going to be amazing. Okay, I can't, can't really smell it right out of the package right here but let me give it a go okay ooh ooh yeah mm. oh this smells like a, like a goth club oh my ooh yeah if you've ever been to like some like underground type of dark store, you know, where they sell like really weird knickknacks and like gothic trinkets and stuff. Yeah, it's very much incense-y. It smells very much like incense. Beautiful. And it makes my hair very soft. Ooh. Wow, it wasn't that shiny before. That's so pretty. Oh. This is definitely going to be my everyday hairspray. Let me get some in the back. Oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> oh wow, that smells so good. I think, it. yeah, it just mainly smells like a nice, deep incense. Like you've been sitting in a room of incense and it's just all in your hair. It's kind of smoky, but
but like a bit woody. It has like a bit fruity, a bit woody incense. Ugh. And I gotta try the um, these little samples too. How could I not? Okay, this one is Black Pearl. Ooh, that is fresh. It's a light and fresh smell. It's a bit sweet, not like sugary sweet though, like uh, like a fucking cupcake uh, candle, no. It is very gently sweet. It's very light too. Oh man, that is so sweet. It smells like, it smells sweet as in like not like sugary sweet, but like sweet and light and nice and happy. That smells very good. Now we're gonna try Bastet. Ooh, wow. That smells like something I've smelled before. It's a bit... You can tell from the color, it, it's like kind of golden and copper. It smells like golden copper. I don't know how to... It smells like, it kind of smells like a cologne. Like a cologne from the 1800s. Hmm. That one's hard to describe. It smells very good though. It's deep. It's a nice deep smell. It's not light and airy and fresh like Black Pearl is. This is like um, a lot deeper. Sorry, I can't describe it better than that. <laughs> Alright, this one's Lioness. Hmm. Wow, that one's a bit, um... Uh, it smells like food? This one's a light scent, like the Black Pearl is. It's kind of floral. All of these really give me the impression of, like, old-timey, you know, like, Myrrh, incense, um, yeah, bits, tiny bits of wood. That one's hard to describe too. Lioness, it's very good though. All right, this one's Mad Hatter. Ooh, <laughs> that is um, peppermint. That is spearmint. That is candy cane. Ooh. Yeah, it smells super good. It ha it's much sweeter than the other one's smell. Mmm. It's a bit dusty. Like a dusty candy cane. Ooh, but it smells really good. <laughs> okay, I'm excited for this one. This one's RPG Series Mage. Mmm. This one smells the most modern. Like, this one doesn't smell like an old, timey, ancient perfume. This one smells like a fresh incense. Not like a smoky incense, like after you burn it. It's like an incense before you burn it. This smells really good. It's a bit floral. It's light like the black pearl was, and like how the lioness was. Yeah, it has like, um, myrrh kind of smell. A little bit woody. It's super nice. Ooh, wow. My, <laughs> my nose scent receptors just went on a roller coaster ride. Wow. Black Phoenix Alchemy Lab is really like, if it really is from the 1300s, like it says it is, they like kept the smell from how it smelled back in the day. 
beautiful perfumes that were like handcrafted with like local woods, local herbs, local fruits and vegetables and stuff. I would probably say my favorite is the mechanism one because it just, oh man, it's a bit alcoholy. It smells like, it's so weird. It's such an interesting, weird smell. It's like alcohol. It's like alcohol that's been stored in a big oak barrel for a really long time with like different types of herbs and fruit in it too. It smells like you walked through a old timey antique shop. It smells so interesting and good. Like, you don't smell smells like this anymore. Like, you will never find a scent like this in, like, some department store. It's like, it's like, um, alcoholy, cologne, cologne, <laughs> um, woody, just really interesting and awesome. The Jareth one is really good too. This is probably the best for like everyday kind of usage because it has that really awesome lilac and tonka scent. It's not so like interesting like the mechanism was. Um, it's more like a daily kind of scent. <laughs> if you're not trying to smell like you just walked out of a basement full of incense which is a great smell by the way but this one's probably more on the practical side and yeah the hair gloss no complaints whatsoever it's like a fruity it's like currants and red wine and fruity and smoky and and yeah it makes it makes your hair shiny <laughs> Okay, so I really appreciate you guys coming with me. I hope um, some of my descriptions like maybe kind of helped you with your picking decision process. Um, yeah, it was amazing. I love these scents. They are so unique. They are so interesting. Like, really cool. Thanks again for stopping by. Subscribe and like if you want. No big deal. It's all good here. Um, yeah. Thanks and come to my next video. Bye.